What movement represents all of Kalal Yisrael? Who speaks on behalf of all of Kalal Yisrael? Rav Kook has an incredible letter that he penned to the leaders of the Mizrahi movement before the World Zionist Congress. He penned this letter in the summer of 1913, and he describes to them how the limited circle, what he calls, of the Zionist movement, of the Chalom, the dream of, quote, Dr. Herzl Zal. Herzl's vision of Zionism cannot speak and represent all of Kalal Yisrael. Because on the one hand, yes, it is the tzura, the structure in which we can create and build and nurture the national awakening after thousands of years of exile. But ultimately, it's too narrow. That doesn't represent the entirety of the Jewish people. Because for those people, Rahman al Itzlan, he says, they say that Zionism has nothing to do with religion. And for us, the ultimate fulfillment of the Jewish people, of our nation, is to be this grander spiritual beacon for the entire world. He says, as long as you have this expression, Hatzionut davar ein la imadat, that Zionism has nothing to do with religion, then it's not going to be what represents the Jewish people as a whole. Ultimately, our greatness, what represents the Jewish people as a whole, is tenuas chayim shel hagoi kulo, is the movement of life of our entire nation. Ha'olech b'ga'on l'kras asido ha'gadol b'or p'nei Hashem alokav. Is to walk in the path of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and be a spiritual beacon of Hashem's light in the world. What speaks for the Jewish people as a whole? The Or Hashem, the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That is the vision that we see for our people as part of Hashem's plan for the entire world.